Hello friends. This video is continuation to the yesterday's video on conditional formatting, like how we can make conditional formatting scalable and easy to manage. The link is in the description for um, yesterday's video. What I'm going to show in this video is, since we had a solution how we can use external uh, data or Excel file to um, get our conditional formatting conditions like minimum and maximum values colors. In this video, we are going to show how we can show what each color means. Because if we show like a red bar based on, let's say the sales percentage is less than 70% and the color is red, but nobody knows why the color is red. In this particular video, we will use the same metadata file and use that as to show as a color heat map on our uh, report. And uh, we can further use that to filter the data points as well. Let's look at yesterday's file and create, enhance this uh, further our conditional formatting. So here is the file which we were working yesterday. So we have all these colors based on uh, our budget color a, a table which came from an Excel file. Now the, the point here is now we don't know what these red means. We, we can surely if we hover over we can see 56.78 but user cannot find it out. So uh, what we can take advantage here is uh, we already have a a budget label like less than 60% is this color and 60 to 80 is this color. So we can take advantage of this particular file. So this is giving us now a, a value. It's also giving us to create a color, conditional formatting color, and also will use it as in a heat map. So let, let me first quickly show how we can do that. So I'm going to in a quick new page. So what we can do is we can uh, pick our tree map as our a visual and uh, we can put budget label and as our uh, as on the group uh, yesterday i mentioned there's a budget label key in the file so what i did is budget label is sorted by budget label key so that the lowest value show up the, because this is a text uh, if if i just put the budget label here in a table format um, it's just uh, text so to sort it in a proper order we will use we use the budget label key so this is the text here also we use on the group the budget label on oh, now what will be on the values because we don't have any value what we can use is we can use a count so because each row is a one single count it's a unique uh, row what we can drop here is budget label on the values and then use it as an account so this give us a um, uh, we can size it to make sure it all looks good. So now we have a a color here. So with the label and um, and uh, the color. So now the color is it does not match what the color is in our uh, in our file. What we can do is I created a measure here called budget color, which is just a max of budget color. So getting the color for each now I can each uh, label. Now I can go to the conditional formatting. Uh, it, it's funny in the tree map there is no FX button but there's advanced controls so we click on that it's the same thing and uh, we go in a field value and then here I will use my measure which is budget color so now we have these colors exactly what so now we know the red means less than 60% or whatever we want to uh, name it like 80 to 90% 60 to 80%. So we have the color, so this makes more sense to the user. Now we can bring this to our uh, main page here where we had applied those rules. Anyway, you, you guys can tweak it as you feel like, but I just want to showcase here. So now we have this color scale. And so now we know what each color means. It's a 95% and yellow and all the stuff. So same file which we had to drive the conditional formatting is also working as in a, as in a solution for a, uh, uh, as a heat map and to identify what each color means. Click of this um, icon or this uh, tree map uh, uh, data point, uh, it, it, it filters our visual. So now when I'm red, I can only see the red bars, but rest is not. And if I am on, on, uh, on green, it only green. So it is now working as a slicer as well. So because this is, this is really good, but 
the the challenge is whatever the color we select here is shows uh, that color shows the other one goes in uh, blue which doesn't make any sense so what we can do is we can tweak our measure which we developed yesterday a little bit further so the measure we were using sales versus budget color what we can tell here is because when we are selecting a data point here we are not getting any color value so that's what is happening so what we can and that's why this goes back to the default color which is blue so what we can say here is when my color is blank instead of using the uh, blank function I can when my color is blank then use dark gray or light gray color or you can have your preference whatever you want all right perfect so this make more sense now so if we have selected anything in the in our tree map and that color shows up as an as in a color uh, and the rest goes in a gray because it, it it makes it lighter so if i'm clicking on a yellow everything yellow one is stays as it is the other data points goes as in a gray color or i can pick another lighter color so it can be very very light and with this whole uh, storing the conditional formatting metadata in a external file given us uh, a lot of benefits here and scalability and ease of use one thing if there is a change in the conditional formatting or more rows we need to add or the range changes we just need go and change our data file and refresh the data set we don't have to come and open and write the measure so very good second uh, we can use that as an a legend as in a heat map on our to show what uh, and the labels as well so that is also coming from that file which is really really good and the third thing is now with the click of that color we highlight that data point stay as it is and the other data points in all our visuals go as a lighter color or light gray so that it looks like it's filtered so we can actually highlight the data points what is important and what user is selecting uh, I hope you find this very useful. I always use this solution in conditional formatting when I have a, a conditional formatting to apply on a, in any of uh, the report. Um, this is very, very scalable and uh, very easy to change the way you want it to be and very easy to maintain. Um, and I hope you find it useful. Do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a good day. Bye for now.